Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Cooks by Carrie. If you're new here, I'm Carrie and for today's Foodie Friday video, I'm sharing how to make these delicious crispy potatoes. To me, they were pretty easy to make, just very time consuming. Um, you'll hear more about what I thought about them in a minute, but they are, I, don't, I won't say they're going viral right now, but I, they are pretty popular right now, so I had to give them a try. Alrighty, without further ado, let's get into the video. This recipe is from recipe10eats.com, and it was only a couple ingredients. That's why I didn't include them at the beginning. I'm just doing them as we go along. Now, the first step is to boil a pot of water, add one tablespoon of salt, and then once it's boiling, you're want going to want to add your potatoes, and cook until soft. I had some little baby potatoes, so they took me about 25 minutes, but it could take you 30 minutes. Alternatively, you could steam or microwave them, but I thought that this would be the best tasting way, and so this is what I did. So yeah, I'm just putting all my potatoes in and making sure they're fully covered with the water. Pretty self-explanatory. Also, I did have the heat on, like, med or high to boil the water, and then I kind of put on medium, and then I kind of put on medium-low. So just kind of do whatever works for you and what you think is good. So now that my potatoes are all cooked, I am turning off the heat and transferring them to my sink um, where I am pouring them into a strainer. You're going to just pour them into the, to the strainer and leave them there for five minutes. This is to, like, um, steam them, I think, or, uh, yeah, I think it's, like, a, called a steam dry. I've never heard of it before, but this is what I did. And then after those five minutes, you place them on a tray. You don't need to line it. And you take either a fork or a potato masher. You mash your potatoes down. Now... I really liked how they got those, like, see those, like, little bits of potatoes that kind of fell off that I, like, stuck them back on? That I really liked because they got really crispy up there. So, it's what you prefer, but that's what I did. You can mash them more or less. The recipe said that if you mash them more, they'll be more crispy. If you mash them less, they'll be more fluffy inside. Both are very good. So, I'm just mashing them, and then I am going to add some melted butter on top of each of them then i'm going to add some olive oil on top of each of them it called for a tablespoon i did not use the full tablespoon i just covered them all with some and then i said it, i was good because i didn't want to overall them then i put some salt um it's supposed to be three or four a teaspoon of salt however i took some I think it's called Morton or Molten Salt. It's, I love it, but um, use whatever salt you have on hand. It's like flaky salt, and I put some on the top. And then um, I put some black pepper, and then that was it for the toppings. And here is what my potatoes looked like right when they were finished, all the toppings. And I'm popping them in the oven at a oven preheated to 390 degrees. I'm so sorry I forgot to mention this, but you do want to preheat the oven when you start the boiling of the water. Just because, well, I mean, it depends where your oven, but I, my oven is really weird and it takes a long time to preheat, so that was what I did. Now, before we continue with this video, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you'd like to see next. Share this video with a friend. I have a goal of 100 subscribers, so if you could please help me with that, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, hit that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. Alrighty, let's continue with the video. Now, since I use small potatoes, it took me 45 minutes to get my potatoes all cooked, but this is what they looked like. I know it took a long time, but I, I think it turned out really well in the end, and they looked so golden brown and crispy and mmm, so good. My overall rating for this recipe was a 7 out of 10. Potatoes were really, really good, but for... I know this video is short, one of my shorter videos, but these potatoes took me a couple, I mean like, kind of like an hour and a half to make, to maybe not two hours, but a long time. So, for that time amount, I don't think it was worth it, 
But I do think you should give this a try because maybe it's your new favorite form of potatoes. They were really, really good, so I don't know. If you try them out, let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. And here is one last shot of the potatoes. I topped them with cheese on the end, and they were so delicious. You can also eat them with ketchup, or you can put parsley on the top, or really any toppings you put on any other type of potato. Alrighty, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on uh, Instagram at Cooks by Carrie if you're not already. I post lots of photos of the food I cook. Do all those fun things I mentioned in the middle of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, share with a friend. And I'll see you on Monday for a new video. Alrighty, guys. Bye.